Okay, so I just send an email to myself, attach the receipt. Now Gmail will automatically label that as an invoice and then the automation will run. And as you can see, we've got the populated data, the receipt from the Ritz London 210 price, category food, September 28th, 2017. And if we just go on the receipt, we know that it's correct, 2809, 2017, 210, the Ritz London. In this video, I'll show you the start to finish process of developing an AI system that processes and extracts data from invoices and receipts. There won't be many cuts or edits in this video, allowing you to see the full process, nuances and details involved in creating AI systems like these. I'm also going to be templatizing everything I built in this video so that if you want this system, you can just simply use that template rather than having to build it out from scratch like I did. Okay, so when creating any kind of AI system, I start off by first planning the way that I see this system actually working and running and how everything will integrate together. The way I've set up this system is when any sort of receipt is sent to Gmail, we create a Gmail filter, which basically that just checks to find emails that match certain criteria. And that will cause make.com, which is a workflow automation platform to trigger, which will then basically trigger a few extra steps after that, which will be getting the attachment within the email, which would be the receipt, and then getting GPT-40 to analyze that receipt in order to extract the data from the receipt and then populate that data into a database within Notion. The way that this system is run is based off receipts being sent to Gmail, but you could also make this via WhatsApp and then someone just simply uploads the receipt on WhatsApp or any other integration. Okay, so I'm gonna start off simply in make.com, creating a new scenario and I'm gonna call this AI invoice processor. Like I said, I'm gonna to try to make this video unedited and with as much detail as possible. So if I do make mistakes in this video, I'm gonna show you those mistakes and show you the solution I made in order to fix it. Okay, to start off, I'm gonna create this Gmail watch emails trigger. So currently I can't fill this out yet because we haven't created this Gmail filter yet. So what we'll do is do that first. Okay, so in order to do that, what you're gonna do is just press this little uh, options up here. And in order to create this trigger, the way I wanna do it is if the emails include receipt and it has an attachment, that being a PDF or an attachment of the image of the receipt, then we will um, add a label to this, calling it invoice. So I'm gonna create a new label, call this invoice. And then we can just simply press create filter. Now, if we go into invoice, it currently doesn't have any because we've not got any new um, invoices. So that is literally all we need to do in Gmail. So now what we can do is go back to make.com. When you're in this Gmail watch emails, the folder I'm going to be using is this invoice folder, which is basically any email that has this invoice label. And my simple filter for this is going to be if the emails are unread. So if they're read already, that means they're probably already processed. And then what we're going to do is when these files are fetched, we're going to mark them as read so that we don't redo and constantly like duplicate the files we're watching for. And then the maximum number of results can just be 100 because we might have multiple receipts sent at a specific time. And then we're going to need to actually process a bunch. So just keep it at 100. OK, so. Now we've got this Gmail filter and we have this make.com trigger. So next, what we're going to do is take the attachment within this Gmail data that we're going to get once it triggers and actually convert it to JPEG because with the GPT-40 and using the GPT-40 vision capabilities, we have to have the image as a JPEG and a lot of invoices and receipts will actually be .pdfs. So we need to convert them before giving them to GPT-40 for analysis. In order to do that, we're gonna use Convertio and just simply convert a file. And if it's the first time using Convertio, you're gonna to have to create a Convertio connection. And in order to do that, you just sign, search up Convertio, go into that, and then just create an API key. You get a lot of usage for free, so you can just do that for now. Then you're just gonna to have to put in your API key here, and then it will create your connection. In here, we're going to actually convert the file by the file data as within these emails that we're going to receive, we're going to have the data here, which will be basically the data around the image or the attachment. So the file name can be file name and the data will be data. And then the output format is JPEG as that is the uh, format 
that way you want it in order to be able to pass it to GPT-40. Go into the OpenAI playground. Okay, and once in the playground, I'm just gonna go on this chat and go on GPT-40 because that's what we want to use. And what I'm going to just do is basically create the system prompt and test it out with a screenshot to make sure that it is working. So I'm going to just start off creating this prompt. Okay, so if I just give a little bit of an explanation of what I'm doing so far, I've basically just given it a role, which is there's no real way I could... Um, there's no real job of just receipt slash invoice processor. So I've just named it that because that will explain it to it mostly what it's doing already. And then I give it a specific example of what its job is. So your job is to take an image of a receipt or invoice and to extract four key pieces of information from it. And now the, informa the information I want to retrieve from these receipts and invoices is as follows. The vendor, the price, the category, and when the invoice was done or sent or when the receipt was done or sent. So I'm basically explaining to it what pieces of data I want it to extract by giving it the name of the data I want it to extract, as well as a short description of what that actually um, entails. Okay, and then what I'm going to next do is give an example of an output I would like it to give me. This will help the AI understand the structure of how I want this output to look like. This is how I want the data to be structured. Basically, in a JSON with vendor and then the full legal name of the company, the price that was paid, and then obviously Calendly is a software, so the category being software, and then the invoice date being in this format, year, month, date. This should be a good start for this thing. And what we can do to test it is I already have a receipt that just being a make.com receipt. So I'm going to chuck it in and see if it gives me the correct answer. Okay, perfect. We have vendor being Celo Celonis Inc not actually make.com because it is under a different legal name. The price being 1882, which if I were to open the actual receipt, we can double check and show that that is correct. As you can see here, 1882, so that is correct. The category is obviously a software because make.com is a software. And the invoice date is 2024-0408, which if we check, that is correct because it is April 8th, 2024. So that is perfect. We've got the correct output so far. And what I'm going to do is just copy this because I'm going to use this output as a example output for the JSON later on. If you don't understand what I'm saying, just ignore me, but copy this. I'm also going to delete this assistant message and I'm actually going to go up here into view code and put this onto JSON, copy this as well. And then within, and then we can go back into make.com uh, create a new OpenAI module, that being make an API call. Again, you'll have to create your OpenAI connection, which will be adding an API key to it. If you haven't, uh, API keys, create a new API key and then just do add and then paste your API key and organization ID and then you're good to go. So what we're going to do is after copying this code that we've done, we're going to go into make.com and chuck this all into the body. Now we have this huge file URL. So what we're gonna do is just delete this entire thing because we don't need all of that. This is for the previous image, that being this make.com uh, screenshot that I did. Now what we need to do is take the converted file from Convertio and encode this as the images that we pass to GPT-40 vision has to be encoded in has to be base64 encoded. So in order to do that within make.com, what we're going to do is go press this little A button, go and then go ahead and press base64. And then within the uh, within the brackets, like you can see here, base64 internet brackets, which I've done here, I go to the data under Convertio. So that will basically be the data of the image converted from PDF to JPEG. And as you can see, we already have the prompt system prompt that we have 
uh, within here because we've just copied the code from that playground, which is amazing. It saves us a lot of time. And actually one other thing I'm gonna do is just change the temperature to 0 0.5 because I want it to be a little bit more strict with the outputs. So I can just grab this view code again, take this URL and then put post, press okay. And we are good there. Now, now we've got to this point basically where GPT-40 is, is going to be analyzing a receipt. Next, what we need to do is to basically take the output that we get from GPT-40, uh, structure that data, and then populate that data into Notion. So first, what I'm gonna do is create a new Notion page, that being invoices, and I'm gonna create a new table. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is actually, now that we have the table within Notion, we can pass the output that we get from ChatGPT into JSON string so that we can actually populate it into Notion. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna create a data structure. I'm gonna call this invoices. And in order to generate, this is why I copied that JSON. I'm gonna go into my clipboard history and this is what we have here, which would be the example data. Press generate, and now we have vendor, text, price, text, category, text, invoice date, text, and we can just press save. And then the JSON string, which we're unable to do just yet because we haven't made an API call yet, will be the output from the open AI. So we can just press cancel for now. And then the next thing will be Notion, create a database item. Again, you're gonna have to create a Notion connection, so just do that and then select your database. So my database, I called it invoices, so I can just search that. It will automatically populate my database ID. And then what we can simply do is to just put in each corresponding um, answer into the correct um, place for the Notion database, that being like this, and I can just press okay. Now, I'm going to send an email to my Gmail with a receipt, and I'm gonna let you know now, I'm gonna run this and that what we're gonna get is just a duplicate of this. The reason why we're gonna get a duplicate is because currently in this JSON string, I'm unable to put the output of OpenAI. So we need to run it one time so that make.com basically realizes, oh, OpenAI, when making this API call, this is the type of data we're gonna get from it. And then we can input that into the JSON string. Once Gmail receives my email, it will label the email that we just got into this invoice label. So we'll see it, there we go. New receipt submission came coming from my personal email. And then what we can do is just run this. And as you can see, our scenario is running. So what we've done is taken the output, the attachment of the, com the attachment of the Gmail, converted it to JPEG, sent that to GPT-40 Vision for analysis, passing the output, well, not yet, because like I said, it will be an error, uh, well, it will be a duplicate, which we can check. Yes, duplicate. And now what we can do is get it fully functioning. And in order to do that, as you can see, now we have a bunch more options. And what we can do is go into choices, message, content, and there we go. That will be the output that we need to use in order to pass into Notion. So now if we go back to Gmail, as you can see, the email that we sent to ourselves is red. So if I were to press this run button, this run button on make.com, it will not run because there's no new uh, receipts that it needs to um, actually go through. So what we can do is just make this, just mark this email as unread, go back into make, choose where to start, all emails, okay, run it again. And now instead of these duplicates, if I just delete them, we will actually get the extracted data from the receipt that I sent to my email, which if I go onto it, is the Ritz London, some expensive restaurant. This isn't obviously my receipt. I just grabbed it off Google. So we can run this now and it will do everything like normal. But now the actual data is retrieved from OpenAI. So the output we're gonna get is actually correct. If we just wait a second, boom, there we go. The Ritz London, 210 pounds category is food and the invoice date is September 28th of 2017, which if we look at the image, we know is correct because we have 2809 2017. And if I reload, 
we now will see that this email is marked as red. So if we were to run it again, we're not gonna have any new triggers. Okay, so there we go. I've created from start to finish an AI invoice slash receipt processor that takes an image, converts it to JPEG, encodes it to base64, sends that over to GPT-40, passes the output from GPT-40 into a JSON, and then creates a new database item within Notion, all automatically done by AI. I wanna test it with one more receipt just to make sure that it is working well. So what I'm gonna do is just grab a Apple Store receipt. Boom, let's save this image as. Okay, so again, I'm gonna just do the same from my personal email, <coughs> send a receipt submission. So if we reload, let's see. Okay, there we go, another receipt submission. Now let's run it. This will be for the Apple Store. Okay, it looks like the scenarios run correctly. And boom, if we go into invoices, we have Apple Store, Fifth Avenue, price being 652 and 16 cents. Electronics as the category, which is correct. And the invoice date being July 28th, 2015, which if we go onto the invoice, we have July 28th, 2015 purchase. The only uh, slight issue that this output has is that the vendor is Apple Store Fifth Avenue, which technically isn't the full legal name, which I wanted it to output. And I'm pretty sure the Ritz London isn't the full legal name either, but both the receipts didn't have that information. And therefore I would have to give this AI some ability to actually search in order to find out the uh, legal name of this company, which could be built, but that's for uh, another time. So yeah, like I said earlier, the template for this will be down in the description somewhere. So if you want to just make your life a bit easier and go straight to production for this AI invoice processor, just grab that in the description.